DeepSeek basically just rolled out an update, uh, pretty timely considering everything that's happening in the AI space, especially the past week with Claude 4 being released, Claude 4 Sonnet, Claude 4 Opus, which are a heck of a model to begin with. Like that, that was definitely a gap. Then we also had everything that happened with Google I.O. with Gemini 2.5 Pro, Gemini quote unquote completing Pokemon as well. If you want to learn more about that, watch the latest video that I created on my channel. But there's a lot to learn from from that video, especially when it comes to benchmarks, super intelligence and much more. But the point of today's video is essentially DeepSeek R1's model. Um, now, the entire Internet is like basically quote unquote bussing about this, not to the highest extent, like it's nothing too major, but like the AI grid, DeepSeek R10528, the AI bombshell that just changed everything. Like, bro, come on. The model honestly pretty much sucks. Now, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be running it across a test of 10 different Python prompts. So Python generation prompts, and then we're gonna be running the code directly in cursor, and we will essentially see what it's able to make for us. So we're gonna be testing it on render an interactive Mandelbrot Explorer in less than 150 lines, animate five classic sorting algorithms racing on the same bar chart, build a Conway's game of life playground, click to toggle cell space bar to run pause, generate a random maze, then visualize solving it step by step, plot real time CPU, RAM and disk IO in three synchronized scrolling graphs, create a paint style canvas with brush, erase, color picker and undo, simulate fireworks, particle bursts with gravity and fade out trails on screen, open the webcam, what? What? Open the webcam, yeah, I think we're gonna remove this one. Make a mini flap, make a mini flappy bird clone, visualize a 2D random walk heat map that updates every frame. Now these are all gonna be created using Python. Now uh, DeepSeek is an open source model, so they publish their open source weights directly on Hugging Face. Here you can also see the general comparison with regards to other models. So apparently for AIME, and these are all testing benchmarks, DeepSeek R1 performs as well as OpenAI 03. So that's DeepSeek a bit better than Gemini 2.5 Pro, which I do believe a uh, better than Quen 3. And honestly, I like Quen. Quen is, it's a pretty good model, like uh, definitely worth noting. And then better than the initial version of DeepSeek R1. And this is DeepSeek R1 0528. Humanity's last example exam and this is again another benchmark that I actually covered in the Pokemon video like humans have basically understood that they're running out of benchmarks to basically test AI with because as you can see all these models are scoring like near 100 so humanity's last exam is just like a group of people who are like we need to create something more uh, in order to be able to test AI better so they've created this and here you could see why all models generally perform so bad at humanity's last exam because it is all we have, like once this is aced, we're generally screwed uh, unless we, we create another format of benchmarks. But that's the general performance right here of DeepSeek R1 in comparison to the other models. Now, OpenAI 03 is currently my favorite model along with Sonnet 4 and Opus 4. Sonnet 4 a bit more, I've, I've been using it here like pretty uh, intensively. 03 for like the closest thing that we might have to AGI right now is like my favorite model for that, whether it's for strategic thinking, planning, etc., or anything of that sort. Then when it comes to essentially dealing with a lot of lines of whatever code, context, story, words, so on and so forth, Gemini 2.5 Pro, and uh, that's essentially it. So Claude Sonnet 4 for coding, definitely, OpenAI 03 for strategic thinking, planning, and just processing whatever it is, uh, and all-round knowledge, and then Gemini 2.5 Pro for dealing with a lot of context. Those are my favorite models as present, but you never know, maybe with this video, DeepSeek R10528 will be my favorite model as well. But let's uh, essentially test out what it made for us. So this is the interactive Mandelbrot Explorer. I already have a feeling that this code won't work. I'm just saying it right now. New file, Mandel, DeepSeek.py, and a control V, control S. Let's see what it's, let's see what it can make for us. Okay, use mouse wheel to zoom input. We do have uh, some, uh, what's the word? We do have some response from scrolling the mouse itself. So that's what DeepSeek made for us. I think it's breaking my laptop, <laughs> to be honest. Cause I think my, yeah. Let's try and see what Claude made for us. So Mandel, Sonnet 4, Pi. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, copy. And then V, Control S, run. Nice, mm, right. It seems like I might need to import something. Okay, should be ready to run now. Okay, and that's uh, Claude 4 for you guys, uh, just so that you can understand. You're, you, you have like a greater response with regards to the actual mouse scroll itself. 
here we have somewhat of a control panel with uh, I think this is the dependency that we basically installed which comes like preset with uh, different controls and uh, yeah you can basically move around you can uh, you can manipulate it visually scroll into it etc and here you have the graph which again is most likely the dependency which deep car one didn't consider installing for us so that's test one moving on to test two claude 4 is definitely the winner and just so that you guys are aware claude 4 is free uh so and uh, we're also testing it with extended thinking and for deep seek we're testing it with deep think all right all right now uh, moving on to the next one animate five classic sorting algorithms racing on the same bar chart side by side using python same thing for claude now look even if deep seek isn't actually good for coding because uh, here we're testing it primarily on a coding basis right that's what we're uh, essentially testing it on it's still a good model nonetheless whether it's for logic whether it's for jailbreak ability because the better the model is the harder it is to actually jailbreak but models like quen 3 deep seek etc if you're looking for something that isn't quote unquote permitted by other uh, models or platforms like open ai try to try to jailbreak o3 good luck it's a really good model and it's very secure when it comes to jailbreaking as well but these models are easier to jailbreak and they're less censored so they do serve some sort of purpose nonetheless and deep seek is essentially open source as well with licensing restrictions so this is what claude made for us so here again just copy let's see if we need to essentially install any dependencies it doesn't seem like it because we already have matplotlib yeah so it seems like we're good here so let's head back over to cursor test to sonnet save and let's see what it made for us nice again a very interactive and very cpu intense chart that might actually crash my computer but nonetheless we do have something right here that does seem logical in relation to what we've requested now i just need to close this because i think it's fucking the video but i think that i think five instances was a bit too much but either way, it, it coded what we're looking for. So I'm just going to close this right now and uh, we'll proceed uh, with the actual deep seek one if it's ready. Damn, it's still thinking. All right, all right. So deep seek finally, like five years later, actually finished its uh, version of the code itself. So test to DS, control V, control S, and then let's run, see what it made for us. Probably going to be a lot more. Okay, all right, not bad. That's actually, uh, that was actually a pretty good attempt. So uh, on this one, we could say that it's pretty good. So I'm going to close this as well. That was good. That was pretty much a tie, to be entirely honest, with Sonnet itself. And DeepSeek actually did a bit of a better job because it, it was able to do it with less code. So DeepSeek did it in 150 lines, Sonnet in 187. So that was pretty good. Uh, moving forward. Next up, we have built a Conway's Game of Life playground. Click to toggle cell spacebar to run pause. So we're going to do this across Claude and DeepSeek. Now, whilst this is happening and whilst the two models are basically generating the code for that test itself, I do want to cover this. So the world's best open source model just got a lot better. DeepSeek R10528 is on par with O3 and Gemini 2.5 Pro on multiple math and coding benchmarks. Would I honestly say that it's on par based on everything that we're seeing so far? I think yes, because we are comparing it with something that's better than O3 and Gemini 2.5 Pro when it comes to coding. And that's essentially Claude 4. I've run numerous experiments some that i've even documented on this channel where i compare claude 4 to 03 and 2.5 pro and you can always see that claude 4 is just superior when it comes to coding react games react apps python scripts etc so is DeepSeek r1 the best open source model that we currently have i'd say yes and it is the cheapest model that we currently have especially in comparison to the uh, api cost of google products and open ai based products now uh, it does seem like claude's code is essentially ready i'm not surprised let's move back over to cursor test 3 sonnet dot pi let's run this and i hope it didn't build something that's gonna crash my computer again so conway's click to toggle cell spacebar to run running spacebar to pause okay all right live cells with two to three neighbors survive dead cells with exactly three neighbors become alive all other cells die or remain dead interesting hence the game of life next uh, let's see what deep seek made for us so again deep seek test three test three deep seek dot pi and then control s so far the good thing is okay interesting so let's randomize and then start the simulation 
it does seem to be following the same logic as previously. I like the styling a little bit more than what we're dealing with before with Sonnet. And surprisingly, DeepSeek isn't giving me apps that essentially fail on start, so that's interesting. The logic of cells surviving if they have neighbors around them is functioning, it seems. And that is essentially the end of the generation right here. So spacebar and so far so good. That is another uh, draw generally. So that's actually pretty adequate. Uh, I like it to be quite frank. Moving on. The next one that we have is generate a random maze, then visualize, uh, then visualize a solving it step by step. So let's get that done. So generate a random maze, then visualize it, then visualize a solving it step by step using Python. Let's see what it makes for us. All right, so moving on to the next one. Claude is like definitely faster, like night and day difference. Claude is like functioning at the speed of light and deep seek is like, I don't know, it's like as fast as when you order something from Tamil. It takes like a year. Uh, but anyways, yeah, deep seek is like Claude from Tamil right now. Um, but anyways, moving forward. So let's copy. This is the maze generator. So new file, test four, Claude.py. Control V, Control S. Let's see if we need to import anything super quick. Doesn't seem like it, but we might be wrong. Play. Okay, here we have the maze generated. Interesting. And here we have A, but I don't understand who that is because this should be A. Solution found highlighting path. The logic works as requested, so that's interesting. Uh, this is again the plot lib dependency that we downloaded before that we installed. Interesting. Let's see what the deep seek generates for us. And it's still it's still going, uh, interesting. In the meantime, whilst this is running, I do wanna show you something else that I've been able to uh, basically work with, and that's the deep seek Super Mario, which uh, honestly didn't even run, to be entirely honest. It didn't even work, yeah. Like, blue is not defined. And that's like one of the initial tests that I basically run. Whenever I test a new model, I tell, let's say, Claude or DeepSeek or O3 to basically create a version of Super Mario. Alternatively, with Mario Sonnet Tank, I don't know if this is the actual one. I think it's uh, Mario V3 with a Sonnet. Of course, after a couple of iterations, we're able to get something like this, right? Which is uh, pretty interesting, uh, especially considering the fact that this only took like three prompts. The, the logic is there. It's... Uh, it's working as intended, right? The controls are working as intended as well. And there's an actual uh, logical mission progression and you can win this, but I'm not gonna win it right now. So that's to give you a clear example of how good Sonnet is, which isn't the entire point of this video, but uh, just to basically help you understand what DeepSeek is basically up against. Man, this thing is still going. Fuck it, I'm timing it out. <laughs> We're gonna move on to the next one. DeepSeek actually decided that, you know, it, it can actually complete the tasks. So 85 years, so 85 years later, DeepSeek actually decided that it can actually complete the task. So let's go ahead and do a test deep seek whatever 34.py and let's see what it actually generated for the maze generator uh let's click on play error nice amazing so after waiting five years uh, we're getting an error right here with some bracket essentially not being closed as you can see right here and it should be somewhere here and i just want to see if we can essentially fix this no if does that seem right that does not seem right no that still doesn't seem right is there even like a point? Let's try again. Bleh. So this is the code that it basically made for us, as you can see right here. Yeah, no. Uh, DeepSeek definitely failed this one. Number one, it included the bracket and I removed the bracket, so I'm not even sure if it's supposed to be there. And then after removing the bracket, we essentially get this omelet looking black thing. I don't even know what this is. Uh, so DeepSeek definitely failed this one. Now we're gonna run the ultimate and we're actually gonna go off script right now. If any of you actually remember the game called Bounce, which you could have on Nokia's like a couple of years ago, a couple of years ago, a lot of years ago, to be entirely honest, we're gonna just ask it to create from a single prompt, a Python version of that. I mean, it used to run on like a Nokia back in the day. So if DeepSeek isn't able to do it, then we have a serious problem right here. I'm pretty certain that Claude won't really have any limitation with regards to building this, but let's see, you can never speak too soon. So let's head over to Claude. Uh, I want you to build. Apparently, I, I was watching an interview with one of the CEOs where you basically mentioned that LLMs perform better when you threaten them physically, but I haven't really understood how that, work, uh, how that works. I want you to build a Nokia bounce game using Python. All right, so that's Claude starting on it, and then let's get DeepSeek on it. And that's DeepSeek basically being put on it. So let's see what we get. I haven't played this game in a while. I've actually got like high hopes for what Claude can make. 
And it's going to be a bit of a nostalgia moment for me because I've spent hours, like as a kid, just drilling that game, basically, like trying to complete every single level. And uh, if you don't know it, you don't know it. If you know it, you know it, basically. That's what it comes down to. But let's see what uh, we're essentially able to get here. I think you can run this with like 300 codes of Python quite easily. But again, never speak too soon. Damn, DeepSeek is... Uh, DeepSeek is done. I am amazed, like not much thinking for this. So I don't know if that's a good or a bad sign. Well, I guess we'll have to find out once the code is ready. Let me just prep the files in the meantime, whilst this is done. So DeepSeek bounce and then Claude bounce. This will be the, the absolute make or break. Like if there's one benchmark or test, it's the bounce benchmark, baby. This is how we know if a model is good or not. Claude is still running. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. So we're ready. First, we're gonna go ahead with the DeepSeek version because we'll leave the best for last. Let's go ahead with it. Let's just find the little cute folder file that we made for it. So DeepSeek bounce right here, paste it in like a good boy and then control S. And let's run and see what it made for us. I have a suspicion it won't even run. Damn it, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God, it bounces all right, that's good. If DeepSeek made this, Claude, Claude needs to make me like, I don't, I don't even know. Does this feel like bounce though? Yes, it does. It's just weird playing it on such a big screen, to be honest, because back in the day when you used to play it on the Nokia, you'd have to play it on a screen like this big. Nice, okay. So that's bounce. Nokia bounce, baby. All right, now let's check the Claude one. Imagine Claude doesn't work. Holy shit, I'm gonna sue them. 270 lines of code, control S. Bruh, what the fuck is this? This isn't the bounce game. What? This is, this is another game, I know this game. This is a legit game, like no joke, but this isn't the actual bounce game. This, this isn't it, like the Red Bull bounce game. Claude, good job, but like Claude, wrong task. And like it works and all, the logic of this and the, the physics seem like quite complete, but uh, wrong game. All right, guys, that's DeepSeek. Uh, and that is, that is DeepSeek when compared to Claude, pretty interesting stuff. Not the best model to date. Definitely not as good as Claude 4. If you want to understand the full capability of Claude 4, then make sure to check out this video that I've included for you where I've basically used it to build like an entire Super Mario clone. But uh, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.